Hello and welcome to librarywidget.com. In the previous tutorial, we have seen how we can install Library from the scratch on Windows environment. Uh, what are the minimum requirements that uh, that we require to install Library? In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can install Blade CLI on Windows environment and how we can create a portlet using this Blade CLI. Uh, also, we are going to know what is Blade CLI. So let's go and dive in. So what is Blade CLI? Uh, Blade CLI is uh, a command line tool that has been provided by Lifefray. Uh, uh, this tool will be used to deploy and deploy and build the modules. Uh, externally, the Lifefray will be using Gradle in order to build the uh, build the modules, but internally it would be using Blade only. So if you are creating a module, then Internally, you would be using Blade CLI only. So, how do we install uh, Blade CLI? So, in order to install the Blade CLI, first, uh, what you need to do is you need to install JPM. So, JPM is a Java package manager. It's generally a jar file which you need to install first, and uh, this will get the JPM installed. So, I'll be first downloading this jar file and uh, keeping it somewhere. I'll be providing these links uh, for the in the comment section of the video. So I'm going over here and I'll be downloading this jar file. So I do have this jar file in my downloads folder. I'll just go to downloads folder open a command prompt over here okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to say java hyphen jar this dot start jar hyphen g and it so what it will do is uh, it will install JPM in my C drive. So uh, this is uh, the installation directory that it has shown. C drive JPM uh, 4G JPM slash bin. So I'll just go to my C drive and I'll check if uh, all of this stuff is done. Okay, here it is, and uh, it has been installed over here in this location. So uh, further, what you need to do is you need to go in this directory. I'll just close down this. I'll open a CMD over here. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to type JPM platform path hyphen A. So what it will do is I'll have to go into bin two. So what it will do is it will add a JPM user variable in, in your system environment. Okay, so if I just go over here in the control panel and go to advanced system setting and then go to environment variable, we can see a path has been added over here with the with the JPM directory. So now what we need to do is uh, we need to add uh, this path then into the system variable too. So I'll just go path, edit it out, and just add these values. Okay, okay, okay. So now uh, JPM is configured successfully. So we'll just restart it so that uh, all of the things are getting are getting updated over here. So I'll just say CMD. I'll go to bin and I'll just copy and paste this command. So this is the actual command which will install the Blade CLI. Enter.
So now we can see that uh, the the process has been completed. So we'll just verify uh, if the blade is working fine or not. So we'll just say blade version. And we can see that the blade version is uh, is being provided over here, which is 1.0.4. So this means that the blade has been installed and it's uh, ready to be used. So uh, now I'll be taking you through some, some of the commands which are blade. So if I, if I say blade help, then it will be bringing down a list of commands. So these are the commands like create. So it will create a new library module project from several available templates. So what are uh, what all those available templates? So I'll say blade help create. So this is the complete syntax of create, create, then options, then couple of names. Uh, so C is the class name, uh, the class name which has to be provided uh, in order to be the component, and then directory where you want to create the create the new project. Uh, if you are not providing it, then it would be the current directory from where you are running the uh, running the blade command. And uh, this would be the host bundle. Uh, if you are creating a fragment, and that means if you are creating a JSP hook. Uh, then you will need to provide this host bundle based name. And then uh, you will, if you are using the same, uh, and you are creating a hook, then uh, in order to do that, you need to provide host bundle version two. And then uh, there are a couple of list templates. So these templates are uh, basically a different type of uh, modules that you can generate using using the blade. Uh, then uh, you need to provide the package name. Then you need to provide the service service if uh, if you are creating a DS component. Uh, and uh, this is the template. Uh, what template you need to use while creating this module? So uh, there is one more command which is deploy. It, it will uh, build your complete bundle, the complete module, whatever you have created, and deploy it into the current uh, current running instance of the library. It will by default find out what instance is currently running of library in this particular machine and it will deploy into that. So uh, in deploy command you can uh, provide the port also so it will find out that particular port if it is running and uh, a library instance is running on that then it will deploy into that. And then there is init initialize the library new, new library workspace we will be getting into that uh, in the next tutorial. Install it will install a new library module into uh, uh, a bundle, it will install a bundle into library module framework. And then migrate theme, uh, it will migrate a previous theme which was created in uh, let's say library 6.2 or in library 7 if you have created a theme using the SDK then it will migrate it into into a theme project. Uh, if you if you'll say open, it will open a file project in library IDE. So uh, what Blade CLI provides is uh, like uh, if you are creating any project uh, using using Blade CLI, then you can import it into an any IDE, and then you can start working with that. So then there is the server command. You can start or stop your server. SH command connects to library and executes the Google -go command and uh, returns the output. So uh, there is um, there is a Google -go command shell in library. Library 7, which we'll be using uh, very soon in order to interact with the OSGI components, and then update. Update will uh, update the BL, uh, this uh, Blade CLI component. Uh, the version will show you uh, what version you are sitting on of, of Blade. So, for example, like this. So, uh, this is how the things are going to work in uh, with Blade command. Uh, okay, so this is done. Uh, in this section, uh, I would like to know what all videos you would like to me uh, you would like me to make uh, that may be on Life Race Seven or Life Race Six point two. I'll be taking the topics. Uh, you can you can post that in the comments. Uh, well, thank you. Thanks a lot. If you like this video, you can click like and subscribe and share. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.